Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take you through the temps uh, from earlier today, and it was mostly 50. Santa Cruz did get a 60 out of it, and we did see some middle 60s right around Soledad. Tends to be one of our warmer spots. King City, though, just 60. And 55 this afternoon in San Jose. So chilly, certainly, uh, with the cloud cover uh, rotating in. we got a little area of low pressure right there moving into uh, parts of Nevada. And uh, the clouds are rotating down around that. So we saw a mix of sun and clouds and an occasional shower. A little easier on the water vapor imagery to kind of see that little swirl there. That will start to head out. So our shower chance is definitely declining here in the next 24 hours. The precipitation across the state is mostly spotty, some light snow showers up in the Sierra. We still have a winter weather advisory for maybe one to three inches of snow. And those spotty showers that have been uh, from about the Monterey Bay northward up into the Bay Area at times. Future cast showing not a lot of activity next 24 hours. We could see a little bit of mist and drizzle in the hills, an occasional pop-up shower. This is tomorrow morning, and you can see tomorrow afternoon kind of the same thing. You can see where the bullseyes are, and that might be kind of overcalling it, right? That's just kind of pinpointing that most of what we get, if we get anything, will be up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, maybe up over the Santa Lucias. Most of the valleys in the coast are looking at only a slight chance of maybe a few drops tomorrow, most of the day, featuring a mix of sun and clouds. And you'll see this one system moves out and things dry up across the state. The next system starts to take shape. It drops down out of the Gulf of Alaska, but it looks like it drops way off the coast here through Friday and then starts moving towards us Friday night and Saturday. So the first half of the weekend will probably be dry. Here we are Sunday now at about noon, and we're still sort of waiting maybe for the rain. Some of the other weather models I look at actually have showers over us by about noon on Sunday. So again, take this with a grain of salt. This front could be here. It could be further away. We could be talking midday Sunday. We could be talking early Monday for rain. But it certainly looks like we got another shot at it. It just sort of depends on whether we'll see it over the weekend or it'll hold off till early next week. 34 to 44 tonight. So uh, we'll certainly have some cloud cover around, but we'll also uh, have those chilly temperatures, so a heavier coat and a slight chance of another passing showers. Overnight, we'll see again those 40s taking shape along the coast. Low 40s, Monterey, about 40 Santa Cruz, uh, Ben Loman. We'll see some 30s coming in for Gilroy Hollister. And mid-30s, your colder spots, Soledad and King City in the morning hours. Tomorrow afternoon, it's mid-50s to middle and upper 60s. The winds will be fairly light. Temperatures cool for this time of year, and we'll go partly cloudy through the afternoon. We'll put Santa Cruz at 62, but just middle 50s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Upper 50s, San Jose and Gilroy Hollister at 58. we got a 68 for Soledad, 62 King City. It's just around 60 Watsonville, Salinas. So you get the idea, upper 50s, to around the low 60s for just about everybody tomorrow afternoon. Cooler spots, again, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Your KSPW eight-day forecast, we've got a mix of upper 50s to upper 60s through Friday. Saturday could end up being the warmest day, let's say, in the next eight, right? It's between 60 and 70 degrees. We're holding the rain off maybe until Sunday afternoon, so I got it as a chance, and we'll fine-tune that here over the next couple of days. It looks like showers on Monday and Tuesday with a slight chance on Wednesday highs back down into the mid 50s to low 60s. So a little bit of wet weather in that eight day forecast, which is good to see. 30s and 40s for your overnight lows. So the nights will be chilly, especially on the nights when we have clearer skies like tonight and tomorrow night with low 30s for some of the colder spots. So a little chilly, a little damp, not a lot of rain, but enough to at least to say, hey, we're in spring, we're keeping it wet. And that is a good way to go after a very dry January and February. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Okay.